find yourself snacking throughout the day? I do, maybe because of restaurant background and all you have time to do is snack. You don't really sit down ever to eat. But now that I don't have a restaurant anymore, I still find myself snacking. And I like really healthy, flavorful things in the refrigerator that are easy that I don't have to do a long preparation with. One of my all-time go-to healthy snacks are stuffed grape leaves. They're hard to find really flavorful and quite tasty. So let me show you how to make a really great version of them that just happens to be vegetarian. I don't think you're ever gonna miss the meat in them. So here's what we've got. Some onions. I have a pan heating up with some oil in the bottom. I'm using extra virgin olive oil because we want the flavor and it takes a little bit of oil. Then we're going to put these onions in. To the onions I'm going to add some fresh garlic. Now, these are some decent sized cloves. I'm going to save these two and add these three that I'm just going to mince up real quick while the onions are softening up a bit. To that, we're going to add some rice. We're going to saute that a little bit. Then we're going to add some lemon. And then we're going to add some lemon and water. Now, the lemon juice that I really, really, really like to use is this lemon juice that ha doesn't have citric acid in it. It's Italian volcanic lemon juice and if you read the ingredients it's straight lemon juice no citric acid so without the citric acid it has a much cleaner flavor so if you can find that that is the first choice to use for actually everything so now that this garlic is minced up that's going to go to the pan we're going to add some parsley to it the lemon water mix and I have a half a cup of the lemon juice to a cup of water and we're going to add the pine nuts and a cup of rice. We're partially cooking this rice then once they're rolled in the grape leaves and they get layered in the pan they get covered with more lemon water to finish the cooking. You'll find these such a really wonderful wonderful snack. I just love them. Dill you can either use dried or fresh. Makes no difference. Uh, if you use fresh, you'll probably double up on the amount. Dried is a little bit more potent, for whatever that's worth. Alright, so now that these have softened up quite a bit, the reason we want them kind of on the soft side is so they're easy to roll and they won't pop out of the grape leaves when you go to try to roll them. And now we're going to add some rice. And we're going to add our dill healthy amount of dill, probably a good solid tablespoon of dried. We're going to add some chopped parsley. We're going to add a couple tablespoons of pine nuts and we're going to add salt and pepper. Okay, now that that's mixed in well, I'm going to add just a little bit more oil to the pan because it dried out a bit. Okay, now we're gonna put our lemon water mixture in and I'm gonna stir this one more time. We're gonna cover and we're gonna simmer this just until the water's absorbed. And once the water's absorbed, then we'll cool it off and I will put the green onions in. Okay, so that's gonna simmer about 15 minutes. Then it'll be nice and soft and ready for the rest of the ingredients, which isn't all that much and I'll get my grape leaves ready to go. What I want to do is take the jar of grape leaves, drain the water off, and then rinse them. Pull them apart one by one and rinse them under cold water so that they're all ready. 15 minutes later, now we have the rice that all the lemon and water has been absorbed. Now what I want to do is add the rest of the, the green onion and we're going to add a bit more chopped parsley. Stir this around well. Now we want it to cool so we'll actually be able to handle it without 
torching your hands. While that was cooking, I rinsed the grape leaves and separated them all. The only thing that I want to do next, and I can do that as I go, is take the stem out so that you're not rolling that up into the grape leaf. And then after this cools, we'll come back and I'll show you how to roll these up and then we'll finish cooking them. Now that this rice is cooled, we can start rolling the grape leaves. It's got a really nice color. By putting the green onions in, after it's cooked, they soften slightly from the heat of the rice as they cooled, so they still have a nice texture. What you want to do is taste adjust this just to see if it might need a little bit of more salt and pepper, but be careful because this is getting, to for the final cook, some more lemon and some more water to cook them off. The lemon sort of takes the place of salt. So now what you're going to do is with the grape leaves, they come in different shapes, some with a big opening in the leaf, some are a little more closed, I'll show you. But what you wanna do is if you look at the leaf, you wanna put it shiny side down on the cutting board. And you also want to overlap the openings in the leaf. Now you have the seam or the vein of the leaf up. What this is gonna do is enclose this really nice. Now I'm just gonna put a teaspoon in here since this is making a nice little packet we fold it over and pull it back so that you're getting a nice tight little parcel fold the ends in and then roll them up and you have a nice little grape leaf now I've put a little bit of water in the bottom of this ideally you should put parsley stem in the bottom however I used the parsley stems for making stock so I didn't have any extra so I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom and that will act as a little bit of a buffer and another little teaspoon now a lot of times I am very tempted to overstuff these but you know it's not a good idea it's just really makes it a lot harder the one thing that I can't emphasize enough is make sure that you get these nice and tight because these are going to get weighted and then cooked. And if you don't have them tight enough, the weight of whatever you're using, in this case, I'm using a glass container with some water and it holds probably two and a half pounds of water or so, whatever. And then this container that will go right on top of them that just fits the pot nicely and it's heat proof. So now if you come across a leaf that's just a little bit too small, go ahead and put two of them together. Here's a nice leaf because it doesn't have that large opening in the fan of the leaf. Whoops, of course I just ripped it, that figures. But we're gonna put that together. We'll put a teaspoon in there, fold it over, fold your ends in. Now, see how that opened up? What I'm going to do to repair that is take this partial leaf that I just ripped in half because it's small and use that as a little patch job on there. And then into the pot and I'm putting these next to each other. They're gonna go in there relatively tight because that will also ensure that they stay together as they cook. I'll show you one more. This is a nice big leaf. Make sure to take that stem end out then open it up and make sure you open the leaf up nice and flat, vein side up, put your little, cover your holes up, make sure that you have one flat surface of the leaf, and then teaspoon of rice filling and over and pull it back so it gets nice and tight, fold your ends in and roll it up. These are gonna be so good, I can hardly wait. All right, I'll roll the rest and then we'll come back when I have them done. All right, I have one layer done and I wanna show you what I've got going. See how nice and tightly packed they are? Now what I could be doing is, and I could have done this on the bottom, is put a layer of grape leaves on the bottom and I could separate these with the grape leaves since I don't have any parsley, but I'm not gonna do that either because I want to save these grape leaves to make more. So here's what I ended up with. I got one complete layer and then just one row across the top. We're going to put half a cup of lemon juice, a cup of water over the top of these. The base of this bowl weights them down nice and even. And we're going to put a water container on there. And I'm going to bring this up to a simmer. And then it's going to simmer for about 25-ish minutes, something like that. And then what you want to do is save all these leaves. 
I am going to, this is the size jars that I like to buy because I don't mind having extra, but I'm going to fold these back up into each other, lay them out flat, and then I'm going to re-roll these nice and tight and put them right back in that jar. These will last refrigerated for quite a long time, at least a couple of months. I didn't, when I drained it, drain out all the brine, so there is some left, and that will help keep them, but I'll probably make these again. Now, this rice mixture that went into the grape leaves, it is such a great rice mixture. You might want to just make extra of that to have to serve alongside of whatever, whether it be chicken, fish, uh, the black bean burgers, you know, whatever. It's really a good rice mix. Well, you can see that after cooking these a very low to no simmer for about a half hour, actually I think it was more like 40 minutes, most of the liquid has absorbed into the grape leaf. Now what I want to do is let these cool, but I'm going to take a few out just to show you. A lot of people like these served warm. I personally like these served cold. That's just my thing. But they make the best snack. I first had these when I was a young girl and we lived in West Hampton and my friend that lived in Remsenburg, her mom used to make the best grape leaves. And oh my God, it was my first experience with eating grape leaves. And I'll tell you what, I've never turned back. I just think they're the best. We're gonna add a little lemon to that, a little tzatziki on the side for a little dipping or snacking. Wouldn't this make a wonderful dinner to share with somebody? Grape leaves for an appetizer. Tzatziki goes both ways. A little black bean burger on the bed of shredded lettuce with the onion. And this is plenty for two as well. And what I would do to add a little more interest is just drizzle the vegetables with a little extra virgin olive oil as well as the black bean burger. Cut this in half and that would make a fantastic dinner. So I hope you try that. I hope you use that rice. If nothing else, just make that and have it for the sides for whatever you're cooking. Okay, thanks for joining me. See you again.